welcome to chemistry lover and uh, today I am going to tell you about what should be your preparation stat strategy for the CSI net exam 2019 so I previously made few videos on strategies of different net exams you can watch them but this video is going to be a little bit different I am not going to talk about much on the topics rather I will give you suggestion that how you should study right I will of course talk about few topics that you should do because these topics are something that you cannot miss uh, you cannot afford to miss them you must do this so now let me first tell you that so uh, this video is most important for those who are appearing for the exam for the first time because they doesn't have a clear idea that how they should prepare for the exam and many people ask me over Facebook and other social networking platform that how should they prepare so this video is dedicated to them now if I talk about the preparation strategy so I will tell you my opinion how I prepared and how I think should be the best way to prepare for this type of exams now you can have your own strategy and that is absolutely fine but this video will give you some guideline about that before that one announcement is that uh, I am going to start my uh, course in Hindi so a lot of people request me to make videos in Hindi so I will do that on an Academy I will give my link of an Academy profile in the description and in the comment section you can go through this link and follow me over there if I get more followers I will of course make the full course and later I may also uh, start making videos in Hindi in YouTube channel so that is in future but for now I am going to start making videos in Hindi in the an academy platform and also if uh, any of my Bengali subscriber is watching this video I will request them to go through the link of my Bengali YouTube channel and share this uh, videos or this channel with your friends so this video is in Bengali so uh, so Bengali people will have a lot of help from that so now let's start our today's topic that is uh, the strategy so if I talk about the strategy for the CSI net exam so the first thing what I will tell you is that uh, don't just follow someone's opinion so so the subject which you are comfortable there will be few topics in the chemistry organic inorganic or physical in which you are very much comfortable now you may have hear from in someone that these topics are not that much important don't don't listen to them if you are comfortable in a particular topic revise that well because no one can predict that which question is going to come from which area and which topic is most important they will tell you they will give you a prediction but it is not like that their prediction will be 100 percent true so maybe you will get question from that particular topic and if you are comfortable with that if you are good in this topic why you will leave them just like that so it is not good for you so this is the thing now i will mention you few points that you should definitely consider while you are preparing for the CSI net exam so uh, these I have noted down so here you can see so first one is read all the topics which you are in which you are comfortable so this is the first rule right so first go through the syllabus because if you are uh, preparing for any competitive exam knowing about syllabus is most important so first go through the syllabus then uh, you have an idea that what are the topics included in the syllabus and of course uh, in the CSI net exam all the syllabus from BSc and MSc all things are covered so you have to revise your BSc things now in which areas you are comfortable you have to revise them right the next point is revise all the topics repeatedly so you have to do the revision process repeatedly because revision has a very strong effect on any type of exams if you revise topics well that will stick to your mind stick to your head so this is very important the third point is you have to make short notes of every topic whenever you are reading a topic make a short note on that and uh, when you have free times go through that notes so you should have a short notebook type of things like that so that will help you the fourth point is make a separate notebook for question solving so whenever you are solving questions just just write down the questions in a separate notebook you will see that lot of questions will be there which will be repeated over the years so 
that you have to mark well because these topics are going to be most important for you so just uh, mark them well then make a formula sheet for physical chemistry so if we are considering physical chemistry this is very important you have to make a formula sheet for physical chemistry because that is going to help you at the end point of your exam just before one week or uh, three four days of your exam uh, this formula sheet is going to be help you because uh, in physical chemistry lot of numerical questions are asked in the csa net exam or any type of competitive exams next is the so make uh, so practice as much as much question as possible from organic chemistry so in organic chemistry in my opinion it is more important to solve question rather than just reading books if you read books you will learn a lot of things but you as long as you uh, don't start solving question papers you cannot answer the questions in the exam you may have a very firm knowledge in organic chemistry but you should uh, practice questions and that can also give you a confidence that you can solve any question from that particular topic so from organic chemistry solve as much question as possible now the seventh point is for organic chemistry so this is the point which i have just uh, told that uh, it is more important to solving question than reading just books next point is keep a firm watch on the previous year papers so this is a really important thing that you should have a knowledge that what type of questions are asked in the recent years because uh, in this type of competitive exams generally in the next ex next year the same I will not say the same question but the questions will be asked from the same topic right so if you have a firm idea that which area uh, are now in trending so that will help you to get good rank and good marks now uh, give short and long exams so it is up to you uh, so you can after finishing a chapter you can have a exam or after finishing two or three chapters together you can have an exam or you can have a full set of exams so this is very important and then make a list of important reagents what reagents are asked in the previous year exams oxidizing reagents reducing reagents all these things you should have a clear memory that these reagents are used for these this is chemoselective reagents these things you should have a separate list that these reagents does this and then revise again and again revision has no other alternative you have to revise and uh, don't rely too much on a particular subject now this point this point i will tell you that it is very important so if you are uh, good in organic chemistry jo don't just rely on organic do physical and inorganic as well because in the exam if question uh, comes tough in the organic region then you have to switch to physical or inorganic uh, otherwise you don't have any option right so this is very important now, these are the important topics or important things that you should mention while you are preparing for the exam now let us talk about some time that how you should utilize this four or five months which is left before the exam so this is the july so if you start preparing from august you have to utilize the august and september for the revision uh, not actually revision but actually whatever new things you are reading in your msc that things you have to prepare very well during these two months then in the september month of september you have to start revising from the bsc level and all the things which which you have read throughout this so this month of september is very important so now august september october in the october you have to revise all the things in november onwards so you have to start uh, giving some exams and again you have to start revising so re revision start process from basically at the mid of the october uh, October and November and then before December when the exam is there you should have a very strong grip over the whole subject right so this is the time management how you have to do and for all these things if you just devote two or three hours in a day that will be more than enough for you right now let us uh, tell you that which topics are most important for the CSR net exam that is these are the topics that you can't miss you have to read topics other than this but these are the topics that are easier relatively easier and these are like trending topics every year you will get questions from that and I will also mention the books from where you have to study them so the if I first talk about organic chemistry the rearrangement is a absolutely important topic and you have to prepare this from Clayton. In addition, you can uh, go through the uh, Carrie Sandberg book, which is very good. 
oxidation reduction of course it is from caruthers and it is a vital topic then pericyclic reaction again you can read it from Clayton. it is absolutely nicely written in this book so these three topics these are vast topics and you cannot afford to miss them now apart from that the heterocyclic compounds and all the other things are there but you should prepare them as according to your uh, uh, according to your strength but these topics you can't miss now if i talk about inorganic chemistry so organometallic chemistry transition metal complexes these are extremely important organometallic chemistry you can read from crabtree complex you can read from hui and bioinorganic chemistry again you can read from hui and these are the so bioinorganic chemistry is very easy topic you cannot miss them and in complex you have that cluster carboren boron cluster metal clusters all these things questions always comes from there so you can't miss them in physical chemistry solid state uh, adsorption isotherms these are a trending topic always question comes from there and easy questions comes from there group theory two or three questions will always be from there and you can read it from cotton uh, fa cotton book elementary quantum mechanics you should do because you are reading it from your bsc and you can do it from acuity simon book then phase equilibrium and all other things are there so these are the things which are relatively easier and question always comes from there so you cannot afford to miss them so these are all the three uh, parts of chemistry that you should do and all these uh, important things you should prepare now apart from that lot of other topics are there which you will get from the syllabus and i also made uh, videos on uh, de in detail that which topics you should study well you can go through that videos so this video is about this and finally i will tell you that uh, if you just follow this type of strategy that how you, you should st uh, utilize your most of the times in preparing for the exam you will get a good result don't worry and uh, if you need any other support from me let me know in the comment section and uh, share this video with your friends so that they can also get the benefit and thank you for watching